This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2023. Hip dysplasia is known to be a risk factor for osteoarthritis and can be detected by examining acetabular morphology on computed tomographic or CT scans. Acetabular sector angles, or ASAs, which measure the degree of femoral head coverage provided by the acetabulum, may be useful in identifying and characterizing dysplasia. However, defining normal ASA values is important for establishing thresholds for hip dysplasia. To this end, researchers sought to define thresholds for hip dysplasia by measuring anterior and posterior ASAs at three axial CT levels for equatorial, intermediate, and proximal ASA. The authors compared ASA values of patients in the control group comprising of 102 asymptomatic high-functioning hips with ASA values of patients in the study group comprising of 72 symptomatic dysplastic hips. ASAs in the study group were found to be smaller than those in the control group, with the most pronounced differences seen in proximal anterior ASAs and proximal and intermediate posterior ASAs. In the control group, the mean proximal posterior ASA was 162 degrees plus or minus 17 degrees, resulting in a threshold of 137 degrees for dysplasia. The intermediate posterior ASA had the highest discriminatory ability to differentiate the groups, with the threshold value of 102 degrees. The threshold values for anterior ASA were 133 degrees and 57 degrees for proximal and equatorial anterior ASA, respectively. In summary, these findings suggest that ASA clinical thresholds can facilitate the detection of hip dysplasia and its subtype, which in turn may help with orthopedic surgical management.